What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is the Sleeper Channel. My name is Joel and we are back in the shop today working on our WRX budget build. Um, sorry for the hiatus there. I took a couple weeks away from uh, filming anything or even really working on this car for that matter. I uh, just had some life uh, things I had to sort out like finding a job. Um, so yeah, I've actually been unemployed for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, finally got that all sorted out and we're good to go so we can get back to business with this thing. Um, so for today, uh, we have our new engine on the engine stand. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. Um, there's the old one that I pulled apart, pulled the heads off of. Um, this engine and the transmission actually, this is a, another five speed that we're gonna be putting in the car uh, with this other rear diff. Um, I ordered both of these, uh, the transmission and this uh, long block from JDM Racing Motors out of Montreal, Canada. I've ordered some random parts from them in the past. Um, they have really quick shipping. They're super reasonable with their pricing. And they actually really do a good job with these engines. I have videos of them compression testing these engines. Uh, and basically, if you look at an engine on their website, that is the engine that you will be getting if you purchase it. Uh, there's a lot of other JDM importers that don't do that. It's like they'll just send you one that's like whatever the one is in the picture. And so you don't really know, like you don't see the video of them compression testing the engines. Uh, so yeah, I, even though I had to pay a little bit more for shipping to get it, this stuff shipped all the way from Canada, um, I just felt like it was way worth like not having to worry about uh, putting this thing in the car and having it Im immediately either just like not start up or explode like a hundred miles down the road. So we are going to be disassembling this manifold. Um, I need to just pull it all apart, get this and get this wiring harness off, um, get the TGVs off of here as well. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing some DIY TGV deletes like I've done in the past because I don't like that that is a point of failure on these engines. Just one less thing to have to worry about. Um, plus it just adds better airflow, to be honest, without those like little metal fins inside there. Um, so we'll be doing that. I want to clean up this manifold as well. I am going to paint it. I'm probably just going to do some wrinkle red paint on it out of a rattle can. Um, I know that's pretty played. A lot of people do it, but I actually just like the way it looks. And what I'm going for with this sleeper build is kind of like OEM plus vibes. Also going to be taking the wiring harness out of this thing. There's some weird things on it, like this wire right here. It needs to be relumed. Um, some of these clips are pretty messed up too in spots. Like this one right here for the uh, coil packs, you can see those wires in there. They look like they're starting to like kind of crack. So I may order like a new clip for this because it looks like a piece of it's broken in there as well. So I know that iWire makes some really nice clips for these that have like a pigtail on them already. So all you have to do is just like snip these wires um, and then just like twist them together, solder them and put some heat shrink over them. And then you have a new uh, coil pack plug. So I'll probably order some of those and just redo them all um, because I'm actually going to take the loom, the old loom off of this wiring harness. So all this stuff right here, like this, this plastic stuff that covers it and like all the tape, I'm gonna be pulling that off and just like completely stripping the wiring harness down to the wires, uh, retaping things, snipping plugs that I don't need anymore, like the TGV plugs, cause we're deleting those and just really cleaning that wiring harness up and making it look nicer. Relooming it with some cool like braided loom that I think will look really nice in the engine bay. So uh, I have ordered a lot of parts for this car from Flatirons Tuning. So shout out to you guys. Um, if you're if you're in need of like Subaru parts, especially like OEM stuff, Flatirons Tuning is awesome. Their pricing is really good, especially for OEM stuff. So I would check them out. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm just gonna get into doing all this stuff. We're tearing down this manifold. <laughs>
so we got the manifold all stripped down. Here's everything I pulled off. Throttle body, we'll need to get that all cleaned up. It's pretty filthy. Uh, turbo inlet, um, I'll probably run this. I inspected it a little bit. I need to go through it more thoroughly, but it looks to be in pretty good shape. We got our old injectors right here. I'm not gonna be using those. I have some blues that are a, a little bit larger than these. They're like 565, I believe, CC. Uh, our purge valve, uh, gonna be deleting that. TGVs right here. We're gonna have to strip these down, pull this rod out, block them off, cut the fin out as well, uh, get them all polished up. And then over here, we have our manifold. I gotta get this cleaned up, get it all masked off, prepped so that we can paint it. Our wiring harness down here. I labeled all the TGV uh, uh, connectors because we're gonna be just cutting those and then um, just kind of, you know, taping off the, the exposed wires and then just looming them inside. So it just cleans it up a little bit. And then also the purge valve there, we'll be deleting that. This plastic is so brittle. That was for the little uh, mounting bracket, this plastic mounting bracket that mounts it to the bottom of the manifold to kind of keep it up off of the engine block, kind of mounts right here and here. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet because um, yeah, as you can see, it's just so old and brittle. It just cracks and I don't want it sitting on the engine block because I know that the wiring loom does protect it from heat, but I don't want to melt any wires. So uh, I'm gonna keep moving. I think first I'm gonna get this all cleaned up get it masked off, get it ready to like put some sort of primer down over it so we can paint it wrinkled red. I know none of this is really that exciting, but it's all stuff that needs to get done. So I'm just gonna keep getting after it. Right, guys so got the manifold all cleaned up there she is looks pretty good um, I went through it as you could see on the time-lapse hit it with this wire brush because there's just so much of this little like these little like bits of grime like grease inside the pores of this thing it's pretty hard to get it all out and I want it to be as clean as possible um, this will actually be the third manifold, third one of these manifolds that I have painted. Um, and in the past, I have had trouble getting the paint to really adhere well to this, uh, this type of metal. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanna make sure I get it super clean. The underside of it looks pretty good. As you can see. Let it dry out and then I will start masking this off.
finally got the manifold um, uh, detailed a little more and masked off. So uh, this is what it looks like now, uh, masked underneath in these spots as well where they mount to the TGVs. Um, all their ports are uh, masked off as well. I made a little plug right there for the PCV valve and actually unscrewed it sitting right here. Um, and I did mask off some of these spots up top where either brackets mount to um, or the grounding wires need to mount just because I don't want to have to um, uh, scrub those and like, you know, risk damaging the paint job later on. Um, yeah, and then the backside here, just masked off all these little uh, vacuum ports. Um, and right here where the throttle body mounts. And yeah, I think the rest of it should be fine to just like blast with some paint. Um, some of these little thread holes here, I may have to like tap them out or something, um, but I don't really think that'll be a big deal. So I'm just gonna paint right over them. Um, so yeah, now that that's done, I'm gonna move on to uh, taking apart these TGVs and hopefully we can get those all sorted out today get them all deleted and maybe prep those up. I think I'm gonna paint those as well, but I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do. My fuel rails that I'm getting, just FYI, are uh, the IAG fuel rails um, and they are in that red color. So I do think that maybe wrinkle red manifold, black TGVs with the red fuel rails could look pretty sick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, anyway, I'm gonna move on to these and I'll start breaking them down and hopefully we can knock that out here. And then we can move on to uh, delooming that wiring harness, which should be interesting because I've never done it. So let's get going. FYI with disassembling these uh, TGVs. Um, these little screws in here, you have to uh, loosen those in order to get these flaps out. You gotta slide the flaps out, the screws hold them in on that rod so you can slide the rod out um, of the whole assembly. Obviously, I've already done a TGV delete video that goes in uh, depth on how to do this whole thing. So I'm not gonna uh, spend too much time on this, but I just want to show you guys real quick as a reminder. These screws strip out super easily. I already stripped them, even with hand tools. Tried a bunch of different screwdrivers and they just kept stripping. These two actually loosened up, but then they got stuck. And so now I've moved on to the drill bit and I'm just gonna drill them out. So it is the next day. I unfortunately did not get through these TGVs yesterday. I snapped three bits in a row. You can see right here. Um, I guess uh, these screws are a lot harder than I anticipated. Um, I haven't had them strip out this bad before. Uh, like, I guess I got lucky on the last ones and I was able to just loosen them and pull them out. Um, this time, no such luck. So I picked up some cobalt drill bits and I'm gonna try with those and hopefully that does the job. So I'm going to uh, just keep working on these and see if we can get them done.
Now the fun part. Now that we have these all sanded down and masked off, I'm going to prime them up with some self-etching primer. Alright guys, so quick update, um, here they are, all primed up. I'm gonna give that probably 30 or so minutes and then we're gonna lay down some color. Uh, we're gonna do black on the TGVs, wrinkle red on the manifold. And I think it's gonna look pretty damn good. In the meantime, I'm gonna start working on that wiring harness. So here it is, uh, basically we just have to go through and get all of this plastic off the old loom um, and the old tape off the end. So I'm just gonna start going through and just slowly disassembling it so we get it down to the wires and then that way we can uh, fix this thing up and refresh it, make it look pretty. So we have the wiring harness deloomed. Look at all of that mess. That honestly kind of sucked. Uh, it didn't take that long, but um, not my favorite thing to do. So I was trying to find like the end of a piece of tape or the loom or something. And uh, yeah, it's just super tedious. Um, honestly, I feel like all this stuff in this video I'm doing is really tedious. TGV deletes, like doing it yourself and uh, painting a manifold. Um, all that stuff is just like so tedious, like all the masking, all the cleaning. Yeah. So I'm going to be, uh, stoked to have this all wrapped up <laughs> here shortly. Um, honestly, I do think delooming this was worth it though. A lot of this stuff was really crusty. Um, one of my ground wires, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, right here. Um, while I was like delooming it, the thing just like snapped right off the end. Uh, barely even touched it. So um, yeah, you find little things like that when you do this, I guess. Um, that should really be replaced. Subarus are also really sensitive, I guess, to uh, proper grounding. So that's definitely something I'm gonna be replacing. Um, all right, I'm gonna jump back to the paint now that we have this deloomed. <laughs> guys so uh <clears throat> laid down a few coats of the wrinkle red on the manifold and the gloss black on the tgvs and here are our results they are looking pretty damn good the black is super shiny and now that this is like kind of cured a little bit i hit it with uh the blow dryer here because i don't have a heat gun um and it really brought out 
some of those wrinkles, as you can see. I don't know how much of it's gonna catch up on camera, but um, but yeah, it looks really good. The wrinkles like really pop. I was a little concerned at first because I put down that primer and it was like a weird, almost like uh, army green color. Um, I had never used that etch, that self etching primer. And it was looking pink for like a couple coats um, until it started to kind of dry and cure a little bit. And now it's actually looking a little more red. So kind of stoked about that. Uh, I was a little worried we were gonna have a bright pink manifold for a minute there. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good. I'm just gonna let these dry now. Uh, wiring harness is over here. Um, I have a little bit more of this uh, tape and some of this other loom on here to get off, but for the most part, it's all deloomed and ready to be uh, retaped and reloomed up. I'm also gonna snip those TGV clips and I'm gonna fix all of the coil pack clips when those get here. I just ordered those from iWire. Uh, so yeah, we're moving right along. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this and you got something out of this video, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see the budget build uh, to completion. Um, yeah, still got a ton that I'm going to do on this car. Um, and in the next video, I'll kind of update you guys where I'm at uh, with the budget because um, I did order a ton of parts for this thing. Um, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a really fun car, just a really great daily, uh, but also one that I could take to the track if I want to. I'm super stoked. I hope you guys are stoked as well. Anyways, until next time, peace out, everybody.